Okay, welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for all. Leah Sun Moon and Rising, thank you for being here. Thank you for returning. Thanks to the Leahs. Um, thumbs up to you guys. Um, for the last coming weeks, you have been really uh, vibrating watching these videos. Um, please remember to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising. Um, welcome all newcomers. Please share these videos. Please subscribe to the channel, and that will help a lot. Um, I want to say to each and every one, please um, be aware of all the situations that are happening around you and your number is going to be the number six and the number seven. So it can be six to seven or seven to six. So that will be your energy vibration reading for the week. The week is about a week and it is an, a week of co cosmic cleansing. Your cosmic cleansing will be taking um, place on... Um, your cosmic cleansing will be taking place on Sunday. That's strange that you guys said Thursday is going to be a good day. Whatever it is in this week, Thursday is going to be a wonderful day. The energy vibration is water and the zodiac energy is also water. So it's an emotional week. It's a week of cleansing. You have to deal with a lot of people. A lot of people you Leos have to deal with in this week. The energy of um, love is not in this week. It's more about your emotional um situation and uh, it's a lot of people you guys are cleaning with so many people in this week um this week has the energy vibration for and that is uh, going to affect most of the people who are uh, who are the ages of 18 to 35 there is a lot of conflicts with your parents um, um if you are having a situation with someone who is uh, the prince of sword he's in reverse and that is going to affect you and the prince of swords with the mother who's of the cup something is going on there i am going to take a deeper look in your reading um but as i'm looking at this your financial situation is going to be in balance whatever your financial situation is it's going to be in balance um on thursday is a wonderful day good news um the prince us the queen of pentacles and good news is coming from the queen of pentacles whoever she is it can be a taurus a virgo or a capricorn so um i've seen this in readings for this week but thursday is going to be a very good week you guys will be working with the intergalactic beams and the cosmic beams it's a week where everyone is working with their cosmic family and the intergalactic beams the spirits the new um energies are coming in and they are bringing their counterparts to work with um you have also the four of pentacles uh, your financial balance on monday so it's an earth energy on monday and the four of pentacles is wonderful because your financial situation would be balanced um you have the energy of the knight of sword is coming at you so someone who is of a hair is uh, a hair sign person who is coming at you but don't no matter what it is your financial situation is balanced as we look at tuesday you have the princess of cups Whoever this person is, it may be you're connecting with the Princess of Cups, or and this is mostly for the people who is 21 uh, and over, 21 to 35. And this Princess of Cups with a Knight of Cups is here, and the energy is so positive um, for whoever is dealing with this Princess of Cups. So you are a fire sign, and you have someone who is a Princess of Cups, whatever is happening. Um, this person is also seeing someone else in the love arena as we look at the middle of the week you have the energy of the prince of sword in reverse and this is a positive thing. So as these people these sword people are in reverse you're learning you're overcoming whatever effect they have in your life would he in reverse the queen of cups is coming in to help you and to heal whatever situation because it's a week of water so it's a week of healing as we look at um as we look at the energy on um, Thursday, which is a good day, we have the energy of the Six of Wands, which is good news that is coming in. The person who is bringing this good news is the Queen of Pentacles. So this is going to be uh, profoundly wonderful. So whatever is happening, there is going to be a profound, wonderful thing. 
um, on Friday the energy of love and this is love in business whatever business situation you're having with other people this is going to be a good collaboration so go for it so on Friday you will um, make a positive change in your life when you come on to business because whatever the situation is it's going to bring you um, a financial balance okay um, as we look at Saturday, we have the energy vibration of the Two of Pentacles, another Pentacles energy that is coming in, and you're balancing your financial situation, and you're also protecting it while you balance it. So this is good. Whatever your financial situation is, it's going to be protected. And as you move on, it's going to be extremely balanced. At the end of the week, you have the Ten of Wands, which is coming up also for another sign. And this Ten of Wands is the, is the end of a situation. and You're moving away from the situation. So this is also an extremely good, positive, positive um, sign for you guys. As we look at the beginning of the week, a lot of you are going to have the influence of the Princess of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles can come up as the energy vibration of your child or as your partner. Whatever is happening, if it's your child, you need to connect with this person, whatever the situation is. Um, this person, um, you're going to bring your financial situation to a balance, whatever it is. Um, I see the four of pentacles and two of pentacles as you have seen you're protecting your financial situation so whoever this queen of cups is maybe it's your ex-partner that you a uh, princess and um, maybe it's your ex-partner that you need to give money to it's as if her uh, immediate partner is saying to you you know go after him let he, let him give you the money whatever the situation is this situation is happening the focus of this week is going to be the Prince of Sword in reverse. And with the Prince of Sword in reverse, um, the coding in front of the cup, she's going to come up and she's going to heal something. And this is going to bring a good healing to whatever is happening. So as again, I said, on Sunday, the healing is happening, but also on Wednesday, the healing is happening for you, Leo peoples, because on um, Sunday, the 10 of ones is here, which is the end to whatever situation that was going on and you're moving away from it. You are moving away from it and you will be successful. As we look at the second half of the week, you have a good news coming in from um, the Queen of Pentacles. Whoever the Queen of Pentacles is, she's going to bring you good news to your financial situation. There is going to be an end to the burden of your financial situation. And um, you both are going to connect in business for some people and in, uh, with some people in love. And this is going to bring you a wonderful situation, which um, business and uh, you know love is going to be wonderful because you are cleansing um, karmatic situation in business and in love in this week as we look at the love situation what is happening is that whoever this uh, princess of cups is uh, if you're having a relationship with the princess of cups she's seen someone else who is of a cup sign also so be aware of this and um, for the men, you're trying to protect your financial situation against this um, princess of cups. So uh, in, in the energy of love is only in the, the first half of the week. And um, whatever it is with the prince of uh, uh, sword, because some people can be having relationship with the queen of cups. And the queen of cups is an... Uh, uh, um, a Pisces, uh, a Cancer, or a Scorpion, and the energy vibration of somebody else that was in your relationship, who is the King of Sword, is in reverse. He is moving away. So this is good news in the love arena for you guys. As we look, focus, and we focus on whatever energies is here. We have the number seven um, is happening, and the number six again. Um, these are positive things because the number six is building. It's all about the material aspect the material things around you whoever these people are it's going to be a grand positive energies it's going to be connection the um, energy of uh, the, the the Pisces um, the cancers and the scorpions is helping you um, to move yourself forward with whatever situation so some people um, I'm not seeing you leaving this the, the relationship but it's as if there was relationship happening and there were the king of sword that was involved in your relationship and there's also the knight of sword these are young energies 
so um, it could be for the older people you are having relationships with younger people it could be a connection with your kids and younger people who are affecting your life and these situations are playing out in this week and it's bringing healing and a balance in this week so whatsoever is happening um, um uh, achievement um stable and achievement in your life is coming in and this is going to be seriously positive for a lot of people achievement uh, uh, um, is coming in your life and these are positive energies positive achievements that are happening so this is going to be very good for you guys i can't uh, seems to on this standard thursday I don't know what it is in Thursday of this week but it's going to be positive for a lot of signs a lot of signs Thursday so remember the intergalactical beams are here for the people who are working with a four and fourth and fifth dimension so um, call upon them they will help you and your energy is going to be meditation it came up for another sign meditation for a lot of people in this week meditate take the time out and meditate because by taking the time out to meditate you're going to feel so much better a lot of positive energies are going to come in for you Leos by meditating take that time out and meditate you're going to bring positive energies in your life the other energies that we have is from the Oracle of the E that we're working with the funny cards and it says bring it bring it bring it this is good this is the first time bring it comes out and i'm going to read what it is saying for you bring it um it's good it says bring it wow you're brave and fearless these days even if it doesn't feel that way you are being called to take off your armor and leap today is the day the call um, of fear out as the weapon employs that is it is time to go for it oh my god so bring it and meditation which is saying i meditate to allow the universal wisdom to flow through me bring it and meditate in this week guys because it's going to help you it's going to help you far away it's going to bring out positive wonderful energies in your life please remember to listen to the sun moon and rising sign also share these videos thumbs up like and shares and also listen and watch out for your july readings they're going to come out uh, uh, soon and listen to uh, your um the third part of your um the, the third quarter july august and september so the july reading is going to come out and the third quarter is already out so this is going to be good i'm saying to each and every one have a wonderful week and i'm sending you pure light and love and namaste